At GPT is an artificial intelligence program that is taking the world by storm. It can write a term paper, solve a math problem, or create a legal document in just seconds. CBS 8's Anna Laurel found students are using it to turn in schoolwork. Uh, she shows us whether San Diego school leaders are concerned or excited about this AI in the classroom. You can ask ChatGPT any question on any topic and you'll get a detailed response in just seconds. Students are using it for schoolwork, adults are using it in the workplace, so is it a new way of learning or a new way of cheating? Write a 1,000 word essay about how San Diego has changed over the past 20 years. In less than five seconds, ChatGPT writes this report about San Diego write a 500 word essay in the voice of a 10 year old about how the solar system was created. A long, long time ago, about 4.6 billion years ago, there was a big cloud of gas and dust in space. There are positives to it, but just like using it constantly for all your assignments or like right, having it write things for you is not, obviously not a positive no. thing. ChatGPT writes responses that sound human-like. These three Torrey Pines High School students tell me their classmates use ChatGPT for everything from English essays to math and science answers. I just think it really leaves an unfair advantage for those who choose not to use it and then they're kind of going head to head with someone who is having a computer do their work for them. ChatGPT is a free computer program anyone online can use. The Torrey Pines High Wi-Fi blocks it, which means San Diego joins the Los Angeles Unified School District and New York City Public Schools, banning its access. But kids can still access it through their personal hotspots or phones. Why not use it? I think for a lot of students, busy work doesn't make a whole lot of sense, and it's something that's really boring. Uh, so when you have something that can really speed up that process, I'll be a better user. So is it cheating? I asked ChatGPT that very question. It says yes. Using ChatGPT to do your work can be considered cheating. And it's like any new technology is how does this fit in the education space? Matthew Tessier is the Assistant Superintendent of Innovation for the San Diego County Office of Education. He says they're not telling districts to ban ChatGPT. Instead, they're training teachers how to use it. This is a YouTube video from their workshop. The important part is how do we help support our teaching staff to get up to speed on how ChatGPT can be an accelerant to student learning. A starter to, you know, generate new ideas. Maybe you're at a moment where you're like, I just want to get some ideas. And then you take that and you enhance it. Poway Unified's Dr. Jennifer Burke says their schools are not banning, but talking with students about how to use ChatGP to chase new ideas, to question what AI tells them, and to use it ethically. We want them to be critical thinkers. So how can we use the conversation around ChatGPT in a way to bring out critical thinking. So how long would it take you to write this, you think, on your own? <laughs> Probably at least an hour to an hour and a half. And this took how long? 14 seconds. The San Diego teenagers I spoke with understand AI is here to stay. They just don't want it to take away from the unique human experience. That there's a real awesome element of that, that humans bring to their own writing and something that that's something that, that this chat GPT really can replicate. In San Diego, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8. A whole new way to get your homework done. Or not. Or not. <laughs> There's equally smart people trying to do counter programs to detect when things aren't written but it's, it's, by person. But it's the positive ways that this technology yes. is going to be sure. used that's kind of amazing. How people are going to be able to apply it and become more productive in whatever they are. It's going to change certain jobs, to be sure. And really collaborate sure. all of that information. It's going to be wild.